The chain rule is used when functions are inside other functions, something like this. And you can sort of see it looks a little bit like a chain. Um, if I sort of just highlight this as being the outside and this being the inside, you can sort of see how it is a chain. So a short version of a chain rule. I don't think in all those steps, I just think in two steps. First one is derive the outside function. Do y dx, we look up here, okay, five times two is 10, five times two, and minus one from the four, okay, I have to derive the outside function. Two, multiply it by the derivative of the inside function. Okay, so derivative of the inside function is three, x squared minus five, okay, just multiply it by that. Done.